फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट इट इज ट्रू दैट आवर एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशंस आर फुलफिलिंग टू अ सर्टेन एक्सटेंट द फर्स्ट ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ एजुकेशन द एल्यूमिनी ऑफ दीज इंस्टीट्यूशंस आर नो डाउट बीइंग एक्वेंटेड विद सम पार्ट ऑफ द एक्यूमुलेटेड विजडम ऑफ द पास्ट जनरेशंस बट द पर्पज फॉर विच सच एक्वेंटेंस इज अंडरटेकन दैट इज टू से टू अवेकन एंड स्ट्रेंथन एंड मेक मोर कैपेबल द इंडिविजुअल माइंड इज नोट बींग फुलफिल्ड आवर यंग मैन एंड वुमेन of the rising generation are not found to be savvy of thought it is true that from these institutions come out now and then some rare individuals whose mind is full alert awakened and quite forceful but i feel that it would not be proper to say in the name of these few and rare individuals that our present educational institutions are illumining the heart of man in my view there are several reasons for failure in this direction i may mention here some of the most important firstly a great part of the accumulated knowledge or experience of the past generations with which our young people are being acquainted in these educational institutions has absolutely no relation or relevance to the daily life of these young people or to the world around them or to their collective life naturally this heritage of the past appears to these young people somewhat unmeaningful useless and unassimilable it therefore remains a mere burden on their mind and they forget all about it soon after leaving these institutions another reason appears to be that the linguistic medium through which they are acquainted with this accumulated experience of the past is not an element of their daily and collective life it remains more or less unfamiliar to them in spite of their making all efforts to master it it is therefore quite natural that this heritage of ideas instead of being a torch to light the lamp of their mind has become a sort of absorbent which soaks up even the oil of that lamp whereas this heritage of the past should have been a lever increasing a thousand fold the capacity of the individual mind it is in fact a short of growing so rendering the later quite important and ineffective but the story does not end here our educational institutions are doing 
almost nothing to realize the other important objective of education our students earn hardly for themselves after education even this is not all finding their labor for years to be quite useless and fruitless for their own life many of our youths are becoming victims of blind discontent and anger they are not able to see a way out moreover they are not even able to acquire a good acquaintance of the heritage of the past with which these institutions seek to familiarize them in my view one of the reasons for the fall in the standards of education of which there is a general complaint today is that our youths do not benefit at all from the education which is being now imparted in our educational institutions this poison has not only corroded our individual life but is also now spreading into our collective life our present educational system does not concern itself at all with implanting the essential qualities for a collective life amongst our new generation so if in this situation our new generation remains devoid of the qualities essential for collective life there should be no reason for surprise indeed it appears to me that our present educational system does not at all seem to concern itself with the development of those qualities in our youth which are essential for a good collective life our present educational system is thus as unbalanced and ill formed as would appear to be a man with a protruding body and skinny feet and legs whatever may be the reason for this the entire effort of our present day educational institutions seems to be merely to acquaint the students with a very limited aspect of knowledge and not at all to make them skillful at work or good social beings i therefore believe that amongst other efforts necessary in this system it is also necessary to establish a balance in its objectives we in this country must decide as to how many scholars and skilled workers we require for our country it is quite evident that for every age and for every country both scholars and workers are necessary but in the circumstances in which our country is placed today we are in need of a larger number of skilled workers as compared to more scholars we have to expand our economic production as early as possible so as to meet the needs of the millions of our countrymen i may also add that 
अमंगेस्ट द कंडीशंस दैट हैव टू बी फुलफिल्ड फॉर एक्सपेंडिंग प्रोडक्शन आर अ फेयरली गुड स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ हेल्थ ऑफ आवर पीपल एंड फेमिलियरिटी विद मॉडर्न इकोनॉमिक एंड इंडस्ट्रियल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड प्रोसेस वी हैव टू वर्क राइट नाउ टू रियलाइज दीज थ्री ऑब्जेक्टिव्स एज मैंशनड अर्लियर स्टॉप